Hi, welcome to the small shed. This Saturday I'm hoping to finish off my grandson's tractor shed wall. See you in a minute. <laughs> Now before I get too far into the tractor shed, which shouldn't take that long, uh, there's a couple of bits of housekeeping really that I probably need to go through. Um, you will notice over the next few videos I'm afraid there will probably be some interference in the sound. Uh, we've got a children's home at the back of us and unfortunately they're about to demolish it and I've had a couple of weeks so far where they've been running a generator all day long and that included Saturdays and Sundays so you may well find there's some noise interference coming in from outside there's not a lot I can do about it uh, I'm afraid I'm not coming out here and doing videos at night every night so it'll have to be stuff that's done in the day and there will be maybe the odd rumble you'll find in the background it's just been turned off so it may be it's only a temporary thing I don't know they're just doing the enabling works at the moment so it may be something that'll go away but there will be for probably the next six months or more machinery running that that may or may not interfere um, secondly uh, we're getting to the point where within the next week or two I think we'll probably hit 500 subs now that is something I'm most grateful for and thank you very much to all those who've come on board. It's something that makes it all worthwhile really so it's uh, quite an occasion that I'm hoping to mark with some sort of a giveaway. Um, but we're also getting close to 100 videos and I think it's July I hit one year that I've been um, doing the channel. So I'm intending that the whole lot will be rolled up into one um, item at, at that point so I'm, I haven't yet decided what I'm going to do but there will be something to mark those uh, those milestones. Um, you may also recall a couple of weeks ago I had problems with uh, animals in the house. We'd got the mouse in the house which I then also found some in the roof. We've seemed to have touch wood successfully got rid of all of those. Um, now that's good but the bad thing is that that's probably been replaced by another problem. Uh, when we looked out of the bedroom window the other day I noticed there were a lot of what I thought were wasps um, circling around a redundant overflow pipe that's there and they seem to be going in and out. So I went up in the roof and had a look and in fact I've found it's a colony of I think tree bees. Um, they've got white backsides so we think they're tree bees they're pretty harmless, um, they're not causing any problem to me at the moment or to us, uh, given that they are the things that are keeping the garden pollinated and um, all the flowers growing. It seemed a bit churlish when I discovered them on World Bee Day to um, exterminate them, so given that they're not wasps I'm quite happy for them to be there but I'll be keeping an eye on them, but um, that's just something else that's now living in the house instead of the mice. Uh, we had a visit last week to Stoke Prior School to have some photographs taken for local press for the benches that we did. Uh, they're still happy with those and after a week they still haven't broken, so that's another little uh, minor milestone for me. Um, they are wanting another welly boot rack which I won't bother filming because it'll just be a repeat of the one they've already had. Uh, the problem with all of these things is when you do something you find when you go back that you get four other jobs. Um, I've also mentioned I think in the past that they want a pallet wood car. Now it turns out their idea of a pallet wood car is essentially two pallets on the ground with four chairs screwed to them and a steering wheel. Um, I decided that wasn't really quite good enough and therefore we will be embarking upon um, some sort of a build of a car for them for the playground to play in. Uh, I'm just at the moment sourcing pallets and smashing them up which is 
quite uh, an exhilarating and rewarding experience but um, you can vent a lot of anger with a sledgehammer and a pallet uh, but that'll be something for the future but they are as I say happy with what we've done so far and uh, we're getting repeat orders for work so that'll be something in the next few videos um, so on now with the tractor shed where we left it before where I'd made a, an MDF side um, I'd taken it down to test it and found that it was slightly too narrow for the tractor and that the um, MDF was slightly too thick and we pick it up from there. Now the last time you saw this I'd cut the ply out, I've subsequently taken it down to Weston so that we can try it out. There were a couple of problems, I had made it a little bit too narrow still, there was still a little bit of clearance needed to get the wheels in. Uh, otherwise it was pretty much there or thereabouts, but there's a fundamental problem with using the 6mm MDF, uh, that although that was MDF, that is the original parts from the farm there is quite a step in the difference in the thickness now that's not a problem as long as you're putting something in that way but if you've got to use one of those slots into the MDF you either got to thin the MDF down or widen all the slots and I didn't want to do that so I bit the bullet and recut one in plywood um, that is similar but just that little bit thinner so that will now slot together neatly uh, it needs a little bit of sanding up and tidying up on the bobbin sander because I just cut it out as, using that one as a template uh, there were a couple of bits that needed altering I took that down the other weekend and I've just altered made some marks on there that need a little bit of tidying up to get the roof on properly but I'm just going to clean that up now and then I've got that as a colour match. I'm going to go and buy a tester pot for that colour and hopefully I can then get that back to him uh, without him noticing that it's not there for a day. got a pot of tester pot of banana split which is the closest color I can get to the yellow I think this one of these tester pots that oh they've got brushes in them now by the look of it assume we pull the tab out yep yeah, and squeeze oh yes there we go slightly random uh, way of coming out but that's going to do the job I think oh yes it's not quite there but it's better than painted uh, just plain plywood anyway if I've got enough in the pot I'll give it a couple of coats I'm not sure how well this stuff covers I've not used one of these before job to get into the uh, gaps at the top I'm sure but so I gave the um, side a second coat because the uh, the coverage wasn't that brilliant with the first coat I have to say I'm not as enamored with these tester pots with the roller on as the old brush um, uh, once that was done I gave it a, a coat of clear lacquer just to give it a little bit more um, protection from children and the general sort of knocking about that this sort of thing will get. And 
this was on the, I think this was the Sunday night of Maker Central or the Monday morning. It was the Monday morning after when I was going back down to Weston to pick up my wife and um, we took that down. It had dried out by then so I fitted that to the tractor shed and let the grandchildren have a look and they seem again happy enough with it and are now happily playing with it. So that's another little job done. One more down. It, this one was fairly short in duration but it took a long while to do because of all the running around to get the, uh, the various fittings done. But hopefully it was uh, something that may be of interest to you. Hope to see you next week and we'll be building something else. See you then. Bye.